if adversity builds character, then everyone involved in the Farah Palmer Cup this year would get a trophy. But only one team will be rewarded today as we reach the showpiece of the competition. <laughs> to get this final underway at Rugby Park in Ototahi Christchurch, she bangs it down deep and long and an error straight away for Waikato. Kelsey Tenetti, one of the bright young stars, will need to shake that off very early. Now Puckett, Melanie Puckett gets the free kick. Too early. Early shove from the Waikato 8. And now Canterbury tap and go through. Time and straight away on the end. Well, Lucy Jenkins crashes over. Well, look at the delight. What a start for the defending champions. They score in the opening minute through Lucy Jenkins. Talk about the best start for Canterbury. And it, there's no mucking around here. Toddy draws her in perfectly. Lucy Jenkins, who's been having an absolutely outstanding season, has to step up into lock position as she goes straight through. Last Canterbury line out wasn't straight, and that one's overthrown and lands straight in the hands for Waikato and Hayes. And another penalty to try to get Waikato onto the board. She struck that really well, put a good boot through it, and it's gone straight through the middle. And that little fan will be happy with the start. Yeah, and a clap as well. Senior player stepping up for Waikato. There's that line speed though of Canterbury able to get the ball away for Tairaki and again it's dropped in contact. Waikato guilty of errors in that area. And it's again creating problems and they have to make more tackles once more and they'll get away with that one but no, still a penalty. The Waterman to... Had a couple of extras for Canterbury. It's a well-struck penalty, so they do add a few more. Canterbury go out to a 10 points to three lead. Canterbury scrum sets. Five odd metres out from the line, looking for the second try of the game. McGovern's going to stand a kick through. Steinmetz is really wide here, and the kick, the kick is weighted perfectly. The bounce is ugly. Oh, Try. They're going to have to have a look. They've gone up to the TMO here. Oh. I just want to see whether looks like her foot's on the line and there's not a clear grounding there. No try. It's a 22 dropout, ladies. <laughs> and now the carry once more, burying the head forwards, getting stuck in. A little bit lateral, but Willison tries to get away from Kelly. Great charge from Tanika Willison. They reckon she's out of play, and she is, and the penalty too for Canterbury, who have to defend hard, really, for the first time in the match and come up with the goods. Parks has got it in the back for Puckett, and now Gather they go through the hands. Little inside ball for McGovern, who powers her way towards the line. Caught just five metres short. It's quick for Miller, who leapfrogs across the top. She's held up high in the air. Now gets to ground and ripped away. Penalty Canterbury. Extends Canterbury's lead three minutes before half time in the Farah Palmer Cup final. Dilo Fayonga. This Canterbury defence is very well organised and very calm at the moment. Waikato looking to crack it through Tangent Wainor, who is over the line, crashing over. Well, they've had to grind and grind, and now they get a reward early in the second half. Waikato right back in it through Afina Tangent Wainohu. Another advantage being played for Waikato. Tangent Wainohu as Miller makes another strong tackle through the hands this time for Waikato. Still playing under advantage. They'll go back to that penalty and yes, yeah, surely there's been too many down here against Canterbury. Yeah, surely we see a card here. There's so many issues in terms of discipline. Okay. Pull out a little bit of rope. She had hands down there deliberately and this one's just in the way. Okay, so Sorry. last warning. Yeah. It's loopy for Paroni, but there anyway, she's wrapped up by Miller. It is stoic defence from Canterbury. Edmonds in a 50th, just a couple of metres short. It's quick again for Hitter this time. Has a second go at the line, and this time is over. No, she didn't release in the 
the tackle. Now it's a yellow card. The poor discipline in the ruck area. Well, it's been right. coming. They were warned. There you go, Waikato again. They set this drive once more on the impressive skipper. Look at it. Barking orders at a team as they pile in. It's well organised from Waikato. Still moving, still moving. And over the line, they crash over as the ballgown gets loose. Try for Waikato and they go ahead in the final. And it's Merenia that comes up for the try. Parani, she's come into hooker position starting this game and she has been a great asset to the team. Poor Hepa who is strapped together is going to go again and now they drive for the line through Lua Lua. Big big clears for Taho. Kennedy Taho almost at the line just half a metre short of that they're over this time it's Anderson is it for Waikato. Held up once more, Canterbury somehow clinging on. It was Edmonds, in fact. They have gone so close so many times. It's there once more. Still trying to keep it tight, not releasing their backs. This time it's going straight up over the top. It might be held up again. It's there it is. Second time offside. It's a yellow card. Oh, Second so Canterbury no now down to 13. Both their locks and the Simbin now to join Jenkins. Waikato. Six. Looking to turn the screws. Two Canterbury locks in the bin and away goes. And there's off the back under the post in the 50th. She has been trialless. She has led and now Victoria Edmonds has extended the lead for Waikato. Carries have been more secure. Haven't allowed Kennedy to get hands on ball. Tinetti steps and then runs headlong into Jenkins. They work down the short side. Hoare here. Tyra Kennedy for the corner. Montessa Tyra Kennedy is going to scoot in under the post. She slipped her way. It's hardly gone her way. The young winger all game, but she stayed in it when she needed to. Yeah, definitely hits Montessa on the chest back into what looks like the captain China Hohepa. No try. Heaney taps and goes again. They try and bulldoze their way forward. Greenslade. Canterbury have to score now. McGovern loses control and it's there for Waikato if they want to scramble it away. Instead, they're going to run it up hard. And a penalty too. Who started the scoring in the first minute can't quite get there. Tight for Tiora Heine Fox, the skipper is just over the line. She scores. Try given it is their time here. Waterman. Oh gee, that's a great kick. Seen Waikato the tenant title.